So let's say here's our problem. The integral of 1 over 4x minus 1. 1 over 4x minus 1. Let me write this more like how it would look in the book. 1 over 4x minus 1, or on the exam, or whatever you're talking about. All right, um, so remember with integration, uh, we always want to try and turn it into uh, a power rule, if possible. We can't really turn this into a power rule, okay? Uh, we can't move 4x and 1 individually into the numerator. We can't split up the fraction or anything like that. So, let's let our u be the denominator, 4x minus 1. So that means du over dx is 4. Uh, we don't have just plain 4 in our problem. So we've got to move that over. 1 fourth du is dx. So this is our u, and we've got something to replace our dx, and that 1 in the numerator is okay. So let's do our substitution. Constants go in front. The 1 fourth goes in front of the integral. We've got 1 over u, d. Now, 1 over u, we would like for that to be a power rule, <coughs> right? u to the negative 1. But when we add 1 to negative 1, we get 0. And then we're supposed to divide by the new exponent. We can't divide by 0. So, we've got to think about this from the perspective of what gives us a derivative of 1 over u, or 1 over x. Whose derivative is 1 over x? The natural law. Kind of makes sense, since, you know, integration with a natural law. Um, so, that is 1 fourth natural log. Now, here's a detail that uh, you will notice on the exam. They put absolute value bars around this. Okay, they put absolute value bars around this. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my u. Okay, go ahead and put that back in there. Don't forget the plus c. Okay? Now, the absolute value bars are there because, if you will recall back to pre-calc, when we talk about logarithms, we can't take the log of a negative number. Well, here's why. Remember what a logarithm is. It's saying that the base, what's the base of the natural log, E, e to some power is this right here. We can't raise e to a power and get a negative number because e is a positive number. We cannot raise a positive number to a power and get a negative number. So that's why you can't take the log of a negative number. 4x minus 1 can be negative sometimes. Okay? 4x minus 1 can have a negative value sometimes, so we have to put an absolute value bar. Uh, sometimes whatever shows up right here uh, can't be negative. Say, for example, it's um, x squared plus 1. x squared plus 1 is never going to be negative, so they won't have the absolute value bars there. They'll just have parentheses. Okay? Um, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Natural log, always safe to just put the absolute value bars there. Okay? And you can always take the derivative to check. And one fourth times. 1 over 4x minus 1 times 4, so 4 over 1 fourth cancel, so 1 over 4x minus 1, that's our problem. Okay? So, not too good. So we'll get another one. The integral of 3x squared plus 1 over x squared plus, or excuse me, not x squared, x cubed plus x. Again, let me write this more like it would look in the book. Uh, same kind of technique here. We said we all, we're always trying to use the power rule. We cannot re rewrite this using the power rule. We don't have a quotient rule for integration. Um, it would be great if we could like factor and cancel or if we could like split up the fraction, but we can't. So, is there something that is the derivative of another part of this expression? The top is the derivative of the bottom, so that means the bottom needs to be our u. u is x cubed plus x, so du over dx is 3x squared plus 1. 
which is the expression in the numerator. So du is 3x squared plus 1 times dx. So we've got this part taken care of. This part is our u. This part is our du. So we're looking at the integral of 1 over u du. The antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of u x cubed plus x plus c, indefinite integration, don't forget that. <coughs> x cubed plus x can be negative, so we need to keep the absolute value bars. Okay, we do need to keep the absolute value bars there. Um, and again, you can always take the derivative check. 1 over x cubed plus x times the derivative of x cubed plus x, which is 3x squared plus 1. And the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay, so 